Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marisa and today I'm gonna to give you an update of our basement renovation. We have made so much progress. I'm so excited to show you guys. First of all, huge shout out to my husband. He has literally done the majority of this work by himself. We've brought in a couple of trades to do some of the electrical and plumbing and tiling and that kind of thing. Um, and we had a friend come over and help us with a couple of projects that we were so appreciative of. But other than that, my husband has been busy in the evenings and the weekends, just kind of putting his own blood, sweat and tears into this project and it is coming together so beautifully. I'm so excited. Of course, as a result, it's taken a little bit longer than we planned but it is going to be so worth it in the end. So before I dive in and show you where we are at, guys, I would love it if you're new here. Hi, welcome. Hit subscribe. I would love it if you'd be a part of our growing community and I would love to hear from you. Take a second and come stop by the comments and say hi, introduce yourself. Let me know if you're working on a home renovation project of your own. I would love to hear from you. So my husband says we are about 80% of the way finished. It's really the last 25% of the project that I really start getting excited because that's when you begin to see with your eyes what you've been envisioning this whole time. And this is when for me all the fun really starts. So let me give you a quick overview of what we have accomplished so far. First of all, you guys look, our sofa has made it down into the basement. Do you guys remember? It is so massive that it was literally taking up our entire living room upstairs as we waited for the room to be finished enough for this to be brought down here. It's a long story as to why we had to store it up there. We thought that we had planned it well so that the sofa would arrive at the end of this project. We were wrong. Anyways, it's down here now and it's working out so wonderfully. We decided to get our TV mounted even though we still are gonna have to take it down to do the final coat of paint and finish some of the uh, electrical, no problem. In the meantime, at, at the end of a long day when Jeff has been working really hard, both outside the home and then here inside the home, he gets to kick his feet up, relax and watch a show and unwind and so it's been so great to at least get it set up and functional even if it's not quite done yet. We love this open floor plan. This feels like we have so many steps to take to walk from one end of the room to the other and that is a whole new feeling for us. We laugh and we have to like get up to go up to the kitchen. We're like, look at all the steps it's taking for us just to walk across this room. Oh my gosh, we are truly gonna love having this really big open space because we love having people over. We like having friends and family over. My kids wanna have their friends over and it just having the open space is gonna be so helpful for us. You can see that we got all of the flooring laid. My husband laid this vinyl flooring. I love the way that it looks and it's a really inexpensive and durable option for basement applications. Highly, highly recommend. Really, once we laid the floor in here, it ended up creating such a visual difference. The space felt more complete, it felt more livable right away. It was like the family just got used to coming down here again and using it as part of the space that we inhabit in our home. So truly, getting the floors in has made such a huge difference. One of the things I'm really, truly loving is we got these cabinets assembled and installed and hung underneath this concrete ledge. You guys know that I was dying for this concrete ledge. I have a whole video just about the process that they went through to create this ledge for me, but I love it. It's gonna look so great once we do the final like um, treatment of it. I think it's like a clear kind of clear coat stain. It's not a stain, but it's a clear coat that's just gonna help seal it. And once we do that, it's gonna look so good. But I wanted to bring in the texture of concrete into this room and I think that this is just such a fabulous way of doing it. And hanging these cupboards underneath is really functional and it looks really great. I love how streamlined it is. Once I peel the plastic off of the face of these cabinets, they're all a really high gloss black. We're not gonna put any door hardware on them. They're just gonna be sleek and clean and I'm going to love what it looks like. There is still one cabinet door left to be hung. We have right now just kind of crammed in some of our electrical units in there, but all of the electrical from the TV is actually run through the back of the wall and into that one open cabinet. So we have some work to do with the kind of electrical side of things once we do the final install of the TV and the sound system and all that. Once that's done, we'll put that cupboard door up too and it's just gonna look so great. We also got all of the trim done and all of the pocket doors mostly installed. 
Um, the trim and the baseboards, we just opted for a really minimal profile. It's just super basic, but I really wanted the clean lines and I love how it looks. I'm really excited about this sliding door that's leading into our laundry area because when we pull off all of the plastic, those are all like a frosted glass that's gonna just look so lovely and make the laundry room feel a little bit more bright and open so that when you're in there, it doesn't feel closed in. I'm not sure if you remember, but there was a small little basement window at the back of our laundry room and in order to prioritize and really optimize the storage options in this room we decided to cover that basement window and as a result it's going to be a little darker in there than it was before we're going to get a really bright light fixture i've got some under cabinet lighting that's going to be installed once the upper cupboards are installed over the washer and dryer and having the frosted glass on the doorway is just going to add to it feeling light and bright and it's going to look so great i cannot wait till it's done However, even though we have made it this far with the laundry room, we've got some lower cabinetry that's been installed. We cannot proceed with doing any of the upper cabinetry or finishing the ceiling of this room until we move on to plan B of this whole renovation project, which is doing our upstairs bathroom. We have not touched that bathroom since we moved into this house about 10 years ago, and it's really in need of an update. And so once we're done down here, we're gonna refocus our efforts to the bathroom upstairs. And once the bathroom upstairs is done, then we will finish the laundry room and then everything will be done. One of the things that we did in this laundry room to really save space is instead of doing lower cabinetry and upper cabinetry, we opted to mount upper cabinetry everywhere. So the current cabinetry that's in there is actually upper cabinets and we decided to hang them from the rail system that Ikea has as though they were lower cabinets. You'll see when it's all done in a few months, you'll see how kind of it all comes together. But this is gonna give me lots of pantry storage, lots of storage space, a really small counter space area, our freezers in there, appliances honestly I'm already loving having a finished laundry room I cannot wait to see how this thing comes together over the next couple months I'll definitely be giving you a full tour when it's done because I think it's gonna look really cute the biggest progress that we've made down here really is the bathroom I have a whole video already about that uh, our pink bathroom and kind of the process of it unfolding when it's totally done I will do a video just specific to this small bathroom and how we managed to cram in so much in such a small space but it was really important to us to have a second bathroom in our home we've had one bathroom for the last 10 years with two girls two daughters and now that they're growing and they're teenagers and you know we just wanted more space for everyone to get ready in the morning so having a second bathroom is truly gonna be such a huge blessing. And we decided to cram in a double vanity and lots of storage space, and I cannot wait for this bathroom to be completely finished. I went out last week and decided on the final color palette. We bought some art, some towels, just some things that are gonna finish the space off. It's gonna be done literally any day now. I cannot wait for it to be finished and show you guys the final product. I think there's mixed reviews. Some people really love the idea of a pink bathroom, Others it reminds them too much of the 80s, <laughs> which I totally get, but I'm really excited. I wanted to have fun with this bathroom. I didn't want to play it safe necessarily. I figured if the rest of the home is done really well, then if someone one day wanted to come in and buy our home and they saw a pink bathroom, that shouldn't be a deterrent if the rest of the home looks really great. So I went for it, did the pink. So far, we're really loving it. Can't wait to see it all come together. We haven't really made any kind of progress um, in our office area. We are gonna be working on that over the next couple of weeks. We need to assemble all of our cabinetry. We are gonna be kind of MacGyvering some Ikea cabinetry that's designed for kitchens to make it work for an office space for Jeff and I. So we're gonna assemble all those cabinets, but I don't wanna install them because I'm waiting for wallpaper to arrive. Once the wallpaper arrives and I install it, then we can put all of the cupboards in place and the desk and all the stuff that we need in the office area and then it will really start to take shape. We also need to get our fireplace ordered. Once that's in, I'm gonna be doing like a faux treatment on this fireplace. It's gonna kind of look like lime wash when it's done, kind of like a soft textured, sort of concrete-ish, but it's not gonna be concrete gray. It's gonna be really minimal. I'm really looking forward to actually doing that DIY project. Kind of see how it turns out. So we are also um, needing to get some shelves. We're gonna be putting some open shelves in the area next to the fireplace, as well as above Jeff's desk in the office area. He didn't want any concealed storage on his side of the office. He wanted everything open. So we need to still get some shelves and um, find them, install them, you know, all the things. But we are making progress. Ooh, I ordered an area rug for this space. This sofa is 11 feet long, so I had to get a longer 
area rug than I've ever purchased before. But I hope that the pictures of what I saw online end up being as good in real life as they look Anyways, you know, this is when all the fun things kind of start to come together. I can go shopping for some decor and the pieces that are gonna bring the space to life and create the space I've been envisioning this whole time. This is when we start to see that actually take shape. So progress has been made. We're super excited about how this space is already working for our family. I cannot wait to finish. The wet bar, our office area, the stairs, the fireplace, the shelves, it's just gonna look so great. I haven't yet decided what we're gonna do with Christmas. Do I put a Christmas tree down here even though the room's not finished? You know, we're, we're making plans. So we will see how that all unfolds. But anyways, this is kind of the progress, you guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. If you've liked this video, guys, would you give it a thumbs up? I would really appreciate that. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day and we'll see you next time here at I Am Loved.